got so many funny dog videos. Look at this one. Oh, whoa! I'm a surf. Indeed, you are a surf. Oh my god, look! He's got a Yo, he's talking! Oh my god! This is Totally Normal Journey. Totally Normal Journey is a game where I even got the Platinum Trophy in it. Um, just ignore the percentage of people. Yeah, uh, ignore that. Yeah. Well, today I'm going to be breaking down the videos into chapters, explaining why it's going to be Game of the Year, and everything about it. So, enjoy. The game starts off with pretty much an explanation of the game, and man, it made me want to die. Oh no. <laughs> you will be making life changing decisions for the people who live. That's me right now. I'm just dead on the inside. After the narrator explains everything to you, you meet Kevin and his sister. Kevin and the sister are kind of, um, yeah, they're characters. Um, for some reason, Kevin gets abducted by aliens. Yeah, an alien gets in introduced, and then he eventually gets abducted by them. For, I, for God knows what reason, I have no idea, but this is some, like, for brain IQ stuff. Then for some reason there's radioactive soda, his sister drinks it, becomes a monster, then people hunt him. And also they like to add random characters to it. I have no idea why. I mean look at this. <laughs> why is Mario oh, here? Maria, I'm out of here? What the what, what? Overall the story is a masterpiece, it makes you think and it makes you want to believe in a higher power. It's like Xavier Renegade. You'd like me to be you, wouldn't me? But it's too late. You snows, you lows, you sleeped, you weep, you nap, -a. you get slap, -a. you slumber, a cucumber, you catch up on some zeds, you get out of my head. Overall, the story is pretty much like waking up at 3 in the morning and then you finally see that Adult Swim's on, it's Aqua Team Hunger Force. It's just, you're like, what the hell? It's like a fever dream. But the music is what carries it. Nothing can compete to the magnum opus, the most amazing soundtracks you can ever think of. It is better than Broadway, it's better than opera. I mean, just take a listen to this beautiful music. I'm the devil, I do whatever I want here. Why does it look like the void? This is my domain, and I'm the ruler. No fact has ever been truer than the one... You know what, this is the greatest depiction of the devil ever. So what? Hope Damn, he's packing! eternal torment, I'll give you a job as my human doorman. All the evil in the world's been lying dormant But it's alive now, you're a part of it, it's a part of you But at least you got candy to chew, you big old idiot Now look at you Yeah, you'll never see your family again, but it, at least you can have a bubblegum while I chop your arm off with a rusty saw Bruh, this song is kinda lit Not gonna lie, bruh, 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 bruh Yo, kinda cool, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm so lit right now up, 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 up. <laughs> In all seriousness though, the music the music is actually really good. It reminds me of Sick Animation. It has this nice little dorky element to it, and I very much love it. Like Sick Animation makes great music, and so did this game. Rising up like a phoenix, it's the greenest penis you've ever seen, Miss the Incredible Cock. Don't make him angry, that makes him wanna fuck. Bruce Banner, Bruce the Pooh Banner, eat the coochie raw like a banana. Not ironically, I love the music. It does everything well, they have a lot of fun with it, and they, they present it very well. Now, what I very much love the most about this game is definitely the dialogue. Chapter 3, Oblivion. If you guys don't get the reference, pretty much I'm referring to The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which is notorious for having the best dialogue system ever, the NPCs, best script, everything like that. This game has exactly that, and if you don't believe me, look at this. What's up, Jay? Are you ready to party? Oh, excuse me! Excuse me! As the game progresses, the dialogue even gets better to the point where it becomes so sophisticated they can't even comprehend what it means. No, you know what? 
I should have expected that. <laughs> that makes sense. By the way, can I say that you have a wonderful accent? In like all seriousness, this game has like two voice actors, and it like you could see it in the beginning of the game. Don't talk. I'm having a conversation with this gentleman. Don't worry, I've got you, young lady. Overall, this game has the best voice acting, they have the best dialogue, they have the best script known to man. At some points, I even cried during it. It was so well thought out, and it, honestly, the character building was amazing. But the best part, the best part about this game are the graphics. In the year 2022, games are highly scrutinized on their graphics. Well, this game, obviously from what you can tell, this game is a graphical masterpiece. It's made in the Unreal Engine 5, yes, this Unreal Engine 5, and it competes very, very, very much against recent releases of AAA titles. Oh my god! Now, this is a little side thing, but I, I saw a clip that I had in the recording. I just wanted to share it with you guys. It has nothing to do with graphics, but just just look at it. <laughs> Why is he just, like, deep throwing his mic when he recorded this audio? He's going... <laughs> Overall, the game graphically looks superior to most games, and it's even way up there with Elden Ring. And I would dare say, say, it's better than Elden Ring itself graphically, because the Unreal Engine 5, it looks amazing. If this game doesn't win from graphics alone, I'm just going to be utterly pissed. Honestly, this game is a steal going for $2 in the PlayStation Store, and you must get it. In conclusion, this game is overall a cinematic masterpiece. Everything about it is great, and there's even no bugs to it. Made from the Unreal Engine 5, it breaks Elden Ring, and it's going to be God of War. It should win Game of the Year of 2022. This guy. I'm taking it. Ah, thank you so much for wanting to date. <laughs> That's the end of the game! Naughty boy or girl or non-binary people. I don't want to assume your gender because I don't know it and I'm inside the game. Oh, yeah. DJ none in the house, everyone. Come, bro, we gotta go, bro. <laughs> you saved my life so many times.